Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about using variables in SCSS. So a variable is basically a way that you can store a particular value inside of a key value pair, and then you can access that value value in multiple places throughout your SCSS file. So a good way to demonstrate this is to show you an example. Imagine I wanted to give some styling to this web page that I have over here. And maybe we wanted to give it a specific color that would go along with the, like the theme of our website. So I could define some basic CSS. We could give the header of the website um, a color. Let's say it's going to be blue. And we could give the footer of the website the same color. So this will be blue. And then we can also give the button that's on our website that same color. So we can give this button a background color of blue. So we're basically defining like a color scheme for our website. And when I refresh this web browser, you'll see that the color scheme is set up, right? So I have the header, the button, and the footer are all using the same color. And it looks pretty good. But imagine that I wanted to change the color scheme of my website, right? I wanted to change the theme. Well, in my color scheme, the header, the footer, and the button all have to be the same color. So I would have to go through, let's say we wanted to change it to green. I'd have to go through and manually type in green at all of these areas, right? Because all of these have to be the same color for our theme. So now the website is themed with green. Let's say then I wanted to change it to red. Well, I'd have to go through all of these values again and manually change them. Now, this is a really simple example, but imagine you had something like this with, you know, dozens or even hundreds of elements, right? There's hundreds of different elements in your uh, CSS file that are implementing a specific color or a specific theme. And if you wanted to change that theme, you'd have to go through to each one of those individually and change them kind of a mess. And if you have a huge CSS file, it's not something you're going to want to do. In SCSS, we can define something called a variable. And a variable will allow us to store this value and then access it in each of these locations. And then when we want to change the value, we only have to change it in one spot. So I can make a variable using this dollar sign, theme hyphen color, that's what we'll call it, and then a colon. And now we can just specify the color. So let's say that we want it to be red. So now down here, instead of putting in color, I can just put in this dollar sign and then the name of the variable. So dollar sign theme hyphen color, same thing down here. And once more down here for this button. So all of these are now accessing this theme color variable that's up here. And when I refresh this page, you'll see that everything changes to red. So instead of having to specify like red here, red here, and red here, I just define the value for theme color. So I could also change this to, for example, blue. And now the entire theme of the website will change just by changing one attribute up here. So that's one way that variables can come in handy. Another way that you can use variables is by defining variables with descriptive names. So imagine that I had an attribute all the way down here at the bottom of my file. Maybe this is a huge file. Maybe this is like, you know, two or 3,000 line CSS file, right? It's a huge file. Let's say I was defining some information about the paragraphs on my website. Maybe like I'm giving them a margin of 10 pixels or something. Well, the margin is going to show up, right? But imagine that I wanted to change this margin now. Right? And remember, this is a big file. I would have to go searching through this entire file just to find this one line of code that specifies the margin for the paragraph. Instead of doing that, I could define a variable up here at the top of my file and we'll give it a really descriptive name. So I can name this something like P margin style, right? So this is descriptive. And so if I see this, I'll know exactly what this is doing. I'll know that this is controlling the margin um, for the paragraphs, right? And so I can just set it to 20 pixels here and then obviously I'll scroll down and I'll replace this with that variable, p margin style. And obviously the margin will, you know, 
be able to be used. But the point is that since I defined a variable up here at the top of my file with a descriptive name, it eliminates the need to have to go searching through the file to find this. And so if I'm thinking to myself like, huh, I'd like to up the margins a little bit about on those paragraphs, I don't have to search through. I have the variable up here. And so instead of, you know, going through all the trouble of looking for that one specific line of code, I can use this well-named variable and just change the value. And now all of a sudden I can update, you know, a specific part of my website really, really easily. So that's another way that variables can come in handy, but you know, you're definitely going to want to consider using variables. This is sort of like the bread and butter of what SCSS is doing. And it's really going to increase your workflow on CSS. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.